Wow, what a year it's been in the den. We've laughed, we've cried, and most importantly, we've learned from some of the best minds in business. It's been a pleasure getting to know all of you daring business owners and leaders. We're honored to have been a part of your life journey. And as 2023 approaches, let's explore some of the highlights that help make In The Den the success it is today. From conversations with enthralling experts to deep dives into diverse industry topics, it was a year to remember. So let's get ready for a successful 2023. We can't wait to share more knowledge and insights with you In The Den. Let's keep chasing greatness together. Because recruiting is marketing. Believe it or not, if you're not spending ads on Indeed, and whether you're using Craigslist, Career Builder, Monster, Zip Recruiter, I don't give a shit. If you're not adding that into your marketing for great people, one A player, everybody should write this down, one A player equals three B players. I'd rather pay somebody $30 an hour in my CSRs than have three $15 an hour people. 45 is more than 30, and that $30 an hour person is happy and it's easy to recruit 30. It's hard to recruit $15 an hour people. You might be the right person in the wrong seat. Yep. Um, and we've changed roles and created roles and grown and put people in positions to make them uh, more successful. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think a lot of us doing that here and listening to people and trying to make sure that they're feeling heard is, is part of who we are. I don't want the world to rub bob around me. If I were to fall off the earth or get sick, I want I want the people that work hard for me every day to have a job to come to. If I was starting a new business, you got to start from the top. Have a couple good people at the top, know what you're doing, only specialize in a couple things, don't try to get involved in everything. You see exterior guys will do everything from cut your lawn to do your roof. I mean, just focus on a couple things and then nail down your advertising and just certain areas where you want to go. Think of it this way, if you worked for a company and the the person at the top said, I really don't want to have to look at you if I don't have to. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to have to spend time connecting with you. What would that say to you? We all realize that in, in our here that we have to bring the trades back. You know, the trades have to become something that people are really serious about looking at as an opportunity after they graduate high school or they start some other area. The best recommendation I give to business owners in launching a new business, running a business, and just continuing to execute as you grow is purpose and execution. What's your purpose and execute upon it. So stop contemplating on whether you should do things and start making decisions. Decisions drive growth. You can listen to as many motivational podcasts you want. Um, look, read, like watch motivational YouTube videos, read motivational books, but it's just like, okay, you're shifting your mindset, but like, what are you actually doing about it? Just show up. And it's gonna be hard. And you're gonna cry. You're gonna sweat. You're gonna bleed. I've done all of them and more. It's, it's tough. Look, if it, there's a saying, it's the biggest cliche. If it, was, if it was easy, everyone would do it kind of thing. I think curve your expectations, but most people never take action. Just do something, just take action. Like massive and perfect action is what you need to focus on. Taking action in anything in life forces momentum to create, right? And I talk about momentum so much because once you're in it, it gets completed. But if you never take that initial action to get going, you're just at a stalemate. You have to think about everything you do as a leader of a business ultimately impacts the 50 families that work for you. Not, not you, not, not the employee, their family. So if we make a really bad decision and we got the wrong product or we get sued or we do something or we decide to close the business or decide to sell a business, you're not just impacting you, you're impacting 50 families. Pay more than anybody. Pay more than anybody. With so much competition in the market for customers and for talent, you need to adopt the idea that you're a customer service company that happens to do HVAC, or you're a customer service company that happens to do construction. There's only three things you do in business, period. And no matter how complicated, it's Amazon, any of them. Once I tell you this, you'll, you'll agree with me, but it's very simple. You have to attract customers, that's number one. If you don't attract customers, you're not gonna be in business. There's marketing. Number two is selling customers, which is marketing as well. Okay, so you have to attract, you have to sell, and then third, it's very simple, fulfillment. Get them, you have, you have to provide what it is they bought, and then service it on the back end with a warranty or something of that nature. But if you think about it, that's the only three things you do in business. Well, two thirds of that is marketing. 
Marketing felt like this opaque vending machine with all these slots. I was throwing money into the digital, the like the online, the offline, the, the print, the sponsorships. I was throwing it everywhere and the phone was ringing, the orders were coming in. And then I'm too afraid to stop filling any of the slots because I don't know which one's actually driving the business to my, the calls and the orders to my business. I'll have a client and it's like, oh, you know, we're, we're 10 million. And I'll, I'll look at their brand and I'm like, wow, you're 10 million with that? Like imagine what we can do once we really fix this branding. Direct mail works. Oh, branding awesome. works. When you look at a marketing dollar and you say, who do people buy from? They buy from who they know, like, and trust. If you're friends with me on Facebook, we grew up together. We made it out of Northeast Philadelphia, wherever you came from, right? Why are you not calling me? Is there, you see what I'm doing, you think I'm bragging? Who do you want to handle you? You wanna have somebody else handle you? Or do you wanna have somebody that you know is gonna get you done right? When I have spare time, I am usually find myself in a setting with other like-minded business owners. And uh, you know, that's the way it is. Like they say, if you hang out with five poor people, you'll be the sixth. If you hang out with five alcoholics, you'll be the sixth. So I try to hang out with five successful business guys because I want to be the sixth. Doing it yourself doesn't mean doing it alone. Mm -hmm. That there are people out there that will help you, that will lift you, that will push you off the cliff when you need to jump yeah. into that new opportunity and, and, and just open up to it. You know, there's a lot of business owners that I speak to today that just want to throw in the towel. They just want to give up. And I'm going to tell you, just don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. There's so many people you, you can reach out to. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to, uh, you know, other people. Just knock on doors and ask questions. Because if you don't open up your mouth and ask for help, you're not going to get the help. The help is not going to come to your laps if you don't just open up your mouth and go ask for it. The hardest thing to do is to humble yourself and go and ask somebody for help. Lose the expectation that anyone will do it the way you do it. Okay. Because that caused me far more pain in my business than anything else. Right. Number two, lose your ego. Uh, and number three, never stop learning. I see a lot of people give up. I see a lot of people give up after maybe a month. You're not going to be successful in one month, especially if you're in a longer funnel type of industry. Stay patient, stay on top of your analytics, make adjustments when necessary, and you're going to be fine. You're going to find success no matter what. I, I can promise you that. Don't second guess yourself. Don't question yourself a hundred times like women always do of if you're qualified, if you're not qualified, could I really do this? Do I really have the experience? Do I really have every single qualification listed? Just take the leap and try because I think that the the best things and the most growth is going to come when you're uncomfortable and when you're stepping into a role where you're maybe like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this that well. Um, that's really where the most growth comes. So I would say just take the leap. There are often times where women are a little bit just kind of dismissed in those scenarios of saying, hey, you know, it's a male dominated industry. He probably knows better than you because he can hang with the guys and have those conversations. Right. We can have those conversations too. Let's say they're different, but they're not better. And instead yeah. of looking at men as not better, I started looking at what do women really bring a team, an organization, uh, our country, our families, then we aren't really paying attention to. Plot twist, one review actually doesn't have to kill you. Great reviews bring business, mm -hmm. right? They bring us more customers. We all feel good about that. In fact, sometimes I think we obsess a little bit too much about, over just the good reviews. Mm -hmm. The true opportunity is coming from the negative reviews. What do we learn from them? How do we choose to engage with them? We can make a right or wrong. We can resolve an issue. I've never failed in my life, right? I either win or I learn. Like, failure is just another way of looking at an opportunity. Okay, I, I, that didn't work for me, I did this wrong, or here's how I can improve upon it. So. You never really fail. This year has been an absolute pleasure and privilege to share our knowledge, experience, and skills with all of you. We have no doubt that you have all gained knowledge that will help improve and expand your business. We can already feel the excitement for what next year will bring. Let's make it the best year yet.